the day that our children receive their first degree. But before I get into that, I want to be able to, to thank everyone for coming out this evening, especially to thank all of our parents that are here today. It's always an honor having you in the building. To thank our great our grandparents who are joining us. And uh, it's amazing to be able to see how many grandparents are able to come out. And it's always a special salute for us as a school, as a family, the community, when we're able to have great grandparents with us as well. So let's give a quick round of applause for all our great grandparents. I want to take another moment to recognize people who really help lead the way and make sure that our building functions appropriately. I want to thank our Laura the Ashraf here of Tights, who's with us this evening. This evening, this morning. I want to thank the president of the board, Dr. Steve Singfer, who's with us, also as a proud grandparent. I want to thank our executive director, Mr. Steve Carr. I want to thank our executive vice president, Rabbi Pimsa Shapiro, who is with us as well. With this leadership, it's amazing with the direction the school has been going in, the, just the, the overall excitement and the, and the momentum. I want to also recognize one of our community, our buddy who is with us today, with Rabbi Fleischer, who is a proud parent. Um, Representing us, we have an amazing partnership with all our community rabbi. Want to also just a few more recognitions because it's important to be able to show our hakarat at home. Want to thank the, the strong administrative team that is here, with obviously Morika Isaacs, who is our fearless leader of early childhood. The Stinky Lighter, Dr. Goldie Grossman, who is a strong partner from the elementary school. Want to thank our, our office staff. Ms. Shady Pinsker, along with Ms. Debbie Kadosh and Ms. Mazal Zera, who really helped make everything be where it needs to be. To thank Dennis, Javier, Gary, Jamal, who, who really make, keep the building running. To keep Stella for helping make sure and her team for making sure our building is clean. <laughs> Want to thank our security team as well. To thank John and Jim. James and Joe, I always joke that there are James and their secret agents. But really, on a daily basis, they make sure that our building is safe, and we are very much appreciative to them. <laughs> want to also thank Lori Bedvick and Ron Favory, who we have as our professional photographers and videographers. So you're able to sit back and enjoy the event. There will be pictures that will be shared later on. The video will be coming out, uh, the, what, just a simple video, the nicer one will be later on, but a simple video will be available on our uh, Facebook page, the, the YouTube link, and it's probably by about uh, probably 11, 12 o'clock, Shady, right? Wow, she works fast. So again, thank you for that in advance. Want to thank Ms. Renee Moskowitz and Ms. Stuart Krause, among all of our sponsorship, but specifically that family for helping dedicate, sponsor um, all the Cedarim. And inside the Cedarim has a dedication label really recognizing Jacob and the rest of his class. And we very much appreciate that sponsorship, that partnership, because all of our programs, the only way that we're able to really continue to enhance and push our education, educational experience that much further is through the partnership and is through the generous donations and sponsorships and any other forms of help that, that we very much encourage, whether it is through financial means or other means, we, as a school, very much cherish and value that partnership. So thank you for leading the way, and thank you to all of our other sponsors, as we have a number of fantastic and very much appreciate all the sponsors on the program for today. So, now, being that your, your children are uh, anxiously awaiting in the back of the room, and we keep this very short, also I don't like to speak that long. Today's program is not just a one picture highlight, this is what's happening now. To receive the Sidur is a culmination of what they've been experiencing this entire year. Over the last couple years, they've learned their alphabet, but this year they really started to learn to read. And the first thing we want to put in their hands when they're able to read, we want to give them the most powerful tool 
that we know in existence is Sidur, a connection. A connection to Akadosh Baruch Hu to Hashem, a connection to generations past. Because the same Sidur, while maybe not physically on the outside, that they'll be receiving today is the same Sidur that's been received generations back. It's a way to connect. To connect not just to Hashem, but also to our people, to Jews around the world. So it's a very exciting experience. You're going to see what they're able to, to perform on stage, as well as be able to see a lot of what they've learned over the course of the year on stage. They've had an amazing faculty. They're excited. They're ready to go. One last thing I'm going to say is before you leave today, there's a lot of amazing goodies in the back of the room. There's reflections on their Sidurim that they've written. There's a shtender for them to take home. There's, um, there's a, just a collage of pictures of them throughout the year. There's a little Father's Day gift. I'm going to take this as my final note to really turn to all our fathers in the crowd. Wish you a happy Father's Day. And on that note, without any further ado, I give to you our primer class of 2017.
this point, you're about to have a very special treat. Because someone who's been such a leader, someone who's been the focus, the guide for us, in so many things that we do, you're going to have a chance to get some deep in Russia and get a special blessing from him. So at this point, we ask everyone once again to please rise as we welcome our fights.
so special. I hope each of you are feeling as proud as we are of you because as I mentioned in the room beforehand, the six most important words that you're going to hear throughout the day is how proud all of us are, you, are of you. So great job. I'm going to take the lead from, from our tights and I'm going to kind of turn my back to everybody here. So I do apologize, um, but I really want to give the attention to the children. Okay, you guys ready? Okay. So Rav Tait's already mentioned to you about how special the Sidor is, correct? Do you remember what he said? You're supposed to dive in just today and just on Tuesdays and just on Thursdays, right? Oh, wait. Okay, so just, just when we're in school, right? So when do we dive in? Wait, wait. Every single day or just like on days when it's sunny? No, every day. Every, wait, even on Sunday? What about on Shabbat? Yes. What about, oh, I got to go on. What about on snow days, when like we don't have school? Yes. We still dive in on snow days, it's amazing. So when we, hold, when we have our seat door, I'm going to need some suggestions for everyone else here, because I want to make sure we all know. When we have a seat door, it's something special, it's something more special than all our other books that we have, right? Yes. How do we treat a seat door? What do you think? Nicely? What does that mean? How do I treat a seedor nicely? Okay. Great idea. We don't want to drop a seedor and we do not want to flip it upside down. That is fantastic. What else do you? What else? How else do we treat a seedor? Oh, we use it? That is the best way to treat a seedor. Fantastic. We use it. Do we, when we have a lot of books together and we have to stack them to clean, our, to clean the room, do we put other books on top of a seedor? No. No, that's right. Hmm. What about if I, I just need to run somewhere, do I put the seedor on the floor? No, I don't do that either. Mm, when I'm finished using the seedor, what can I do to show the seedor how much I love it? Oh, I can put it back and I can give it a kiss. Fantastic. Do we have to treat it with care? Amazing. Are you guys ready? Are you sure? Okay, so let me just remind your parents a little bit about what we're gonna do because you guys already know it, okay? So in just a moment, what we're going to do is we're going to call up the children by name. They're in the order in the back of the program, so you can kind of prepare yourself a little bit when to get pictures. We will be having this, as I mentioned, professionally photographed. So I'm just going to guide the students to first look at our photographer, and then we'll look at the family member. So just keep that in mind. It's a two-step process. And uh, hopefully we'll keep this going smooth and uh, we look forward to still more in the program. So don't think that this is the end.
Kesselman. Really, Mel's 
You know, there's something so moving about a center play, about being at this moment, that no matter how many times I've been to a center play, it always moves my heart. Always. There's been so much effort that has been put in to get to this place. So I think before we, we, we move on, there's something else we need to do. We need to say thank you. First of all, thank you to our children, beautiful children.
Thank you all for coming. After the students come down and give their hugs and kisses, we will have a short video presentation.